Hey guys, it's me, Lone Wolf SAS. Today we're gonna be playing a uh, new Let's Play I'm starting. We're gonna be playing a uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Why I'm playing this is because uh, I was having a vote on what game I should play next, and one person voted uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and uh, the other one was Sonic Color. So we're gonna be starting a uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl today, and I'm gonna have a little a little teammate over here. He his name's Mike. We're gonna call him Mike. He's my brother and he's gonna be helping me get through this game. We're gonna be playing on co-op on a story mode. So, let's get started. Okay, that was the intro. Now we're gonna be getting to the story mode. And my brother and me just decided we're gonna go on intense. The hardest difficulty in the whole thing. Probably gonna die a lot. I you gotta put your name. Whoops. Oh yeah, we even got names on here. Oh, I guess we're going with player two. Player one, player two. And the torture begins. Who we be? Who you wanna be, Mike? Kirby? Let's 
first easy battle. This is pretty much going to be the easiest battle probably in the whole entire game. And then, then stuff is the best. Yeah, this is the easy tactic called hit them with a fan over and over. On this game, you can just keep hitting them with a the fan until they finally figure it out that they can get out. We're just gonna do this for a good minute until we feel like hitting him. Probably until like 200 probably. Oh, he got out. Oh, never mind. And it's over. Get it, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be Kirby. And backup characters. We're probably not gonna get killed until like a long while later into the story mode. Then we're gonna start dying from the random stuff. That was my fault, because I straight up threw a bomb at you at the beginning. <laughs> Okay. 
just want to save him, right? Okay. On this little boss, you have a choice to figure out who you're gonna save. I'm not gonna tell you what happens after you save it because I ain't no spoiler. <laughs> what we just picked up were stickers. Really not that useful, but they're just there. That was the first stage. Now we're gonna do the second stage. First, we're gonna save it. It's always important to save it. Oh yeah, and the stickers, I did say they do nothing, but they do do something on this game. You can make your character even stronger or make him start with items and stuff. Like, they have a little special abilities, like, they, they could increase on the attack power, like, if you use flame moves, it will make your flame attacks a lot stronger and stuff. So, yeah. Stickers. But you have a certain around, amount of room where you can put the stickers. Okay, now we're playing this pit this time. Oops. On this game, it's kind of like an adventure. Like, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a journey. The second player can only go so far before he gets, uh... Well, if he goes too far out of the first player's camera, he will just instantly die. Or get teleported. Like, if he's hit, he will just straight up get killed. If he's, like, you know, walking the wrong way, they'll just teleport him. Or he can just teleport himself. I forget what button that is.
look after you, quick. It's not necessary to fight every enemy, but since we're on intense, we don't want no random enemy coming out of nowhere. And these little discs right there, those little gold discs, well, if you throw them at an enemy when they're badly injured, you can get them in a trophy. That's if you're collecting everything. We're not going to be collecting everything. Way too much stuff in this game that you're clearly going to miss. Oh yeah, and only first player can walk through doors, second one just kinda just stands there. Okay, who you gonna be, Mike? Eh, I always beat Mario. I remember I used to never like Pit on this game just because my bro kept beating him and kicking my butt with him and not getting out. Oh, dear. This little uh, miracle round right there, if you're on a high difficulty, that thing will be moving fast like it is now, but if you're on easy difficulty, that thing will be moving super slow. We do have lives on this uh, this thing. It's on like the left side. See the two red, the two red like circles. Two red circles over there. That's the best I got. But uh, yeah, those are the lives over there. We have two. If, I'm, if my bro dies like two times or once, we'll just lose one or both. And when we run out of lives, well, uh, clearly it's just whoever gets out is gone for until we both get out or if we finish the stage one of those oh, almost got out yep there it is There it is. Yep, I got out. Oh, I go get out. Mike got out. And that dude was going in. Could kill him. Oh yeah, I forgot about this thing. The enemies do have a health bar. It's kind of. I'm pretty sure you can just see it going down. Like, some enemies are not that strong, some of them are. Oh yeah, when you see a gold door, that pretty much means the level's pretty much over. It's simple like that. Some stages are long, some stages are short. That's just how it is.
Okay guys, I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna end the video off here because I don't wanna be in like a whole 30 minutes long. That would be way too long. Way too long. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part. See ya.